Every day something new, Melissa. CNBC has obtained a letter to the board from Mr. Schnatter in which he continues to share his side of the story. Once again, Schnatter says Forbes mischaracterized the events that took place when he participated in laundry services diversity media training as the company had been testing his return to advertising after the comments he had made about the NFL back in November. The letter says that during that meeting he was asked whether he is racist. He writes, I of course said no, which is a truthful statement, as those of you who know me well will attest and of course if you felt otherwise, you would not be sitting on the Papa John board. The letter says that the agency suggested Papa John's team up with Kanye West, which he rejected on the notion that Kanye uses racial slurs in his lyrics. Schnatter again admits to using a racial slur, but claims it was not used as a racial epithet. He says the company made the decision to fire laundry service and offered them $2.5 million instead of the $1.3 million they were owed after they'd asked for $6 million, as some people at the agency had been offended by Schnatter's comments. After the Forbes story came out, he says the board asked him to step down without an investigation, adding that he believes it is a mistake. Schnatter said, I will not allow either my good name or the good name of the company I founded and love to be unfairly tainted. So, of course, we've reached out to Papa John's, Laundry Service, and Kanye West for comment. We haven't heard back. Forbes is defending their story. They point to Mr. Schnatter's statement in which he admitted that he did use the slur. Is it within the realm of possibility that Schnatter makes, uh, puts up some sort of a fight? and challenges, I mean, it's his own resignation, but challenges the board bullying him basically That's exactly. To quit. That's exactly what happened. So a source close to Schnatter says he sent this letter to the board via email. He then right. hired Patty Glazer on Sunday. So he sent the email Saturday, hired Glazer Sunday. They're pushing back saying that the board shouldn't have done this. It wasn't properly investigated and that really it's up to the shareholders. Next thing that somebody's gonna leak this tape and then we're gonna know what's gonna happen. We will see. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.